lot of boats are described as unsinkable. They have flotation chambers filled not just with air, but with a sort of air-filled foam. And that means that even if the boat gets a hole in it, the foam stays afloat and so does the boat. But how do they get the foam into the chambers? <laughs> How do they get the foam into flotation chambers? Well, it's an interesting stuff called polyurethane foam. And it starts life not as a foam, but as a liquid. And you pour the liquid in there, it froths up, then sets hard and fills every space in the chamber. Let's show you how. You can start with a container like that. We'll just use a mug instead of a flotation chamber. But there are two sets of liquid. One of them is the first very dark, rather treacly thing. We'll use one proportion of that and tip it into the mug. The other one's pretty treacly too, although it's slightly lighter in colour, and we use two proportions of that. And then you have to work speedily, because once you've mixed it and stirred it, the reaction starts. So let's put that in there and mix the two of them. It takes about a minute for the two to react together. But when they do, they form a foaming compound, polyurethane. And as it foams, it grows. And as it grows, it spreads out, in this case, over the edge of the cup, but in the boat, into all the crevices of the flotation chamber. And once it's stopped expanding, it then starts to set hard. And I think it's about ready to go. After about two minutes, it's all stopped expanding, but it's still very soft. Let's give it another five minutes. And after that time, it's tough, almost like chewy toffee. It's no longer sticky. But that's not the end of the process. Here's one that's about half an hour old. You notice it's even gone further than that. It sticks to everything, but this one's now quite hard. Not crisp yet, it'll get crisp, but it's already hard enough to be requiring tools to cut it. You can see that even if you hit an iceberg or a reef and something went through the side of your boat into that, there's no way in the world you'd sink because your flotation chamber, instead of just being hollow and full of air, is actually full of gas-filled foam. And that's how they make the flotation chambers on your boats. <laughs>